I'm John Tonello, a member of the Chef team. In this short video, I'll demonstrate how you can use Chef Inspect to analyze a raw Linux system, automate an Apache deployment using an Ansible playbook, and verify that deployment using Chef. This example shows how Chef Inspect can be used to audit any system, on-prem or in the cloud, regardless of whether it's configured manually, with Ansible, or with any other automation tool, without ever having to install a Chef client. For this demonstration, I'm using Chef Workstation. It provides the inspect command line tool along with all the other utilities necessary to work with Chef. It can be freely downloaded from the chef.io website. I've also installed Ansible. I'm logging into a raw Ubuntu 20 node and running a couple commands to show that the Chef client is not installed on the system. On the coding side, I start with a Chef Inspect profile that audits five features of my Ubuntu node. I'll check that port 443 is listening, the small web page I'm deploying has the correct content, that a specific version of Apache is installed, that SSL3 is disabled, and TLS 1.2 is enabled. These basic entries test both system compliance and security. Without installing anything on my target node, I now run the chef inspect command to execute my profile against it. I'm providing a local path to the file I just created and using SSH to target my Ubuntu node. Similar syntax can be used to test Windows systems. Since I haven't yet configured my node, I expect most of these chef inspect tests to fail, and indeed they do. To deploy Apache on my node, I've created an Ansible playbook. It will configure the web server with local self-signed certificates and run on port 443. My entries include the Apache Conf content I want and actions to install Apache and some other necessary packages, create a secure directory for my certs, generate the certificates themselves, disable the default website running on port 80, enable my Hello World website, and enable the SSL module. When I've finished my Ansible playbook, I can apply it with the Ansible playbook command. The output shows that Ansible is doing its thing and configuring my raw Ubuntu system. When the playbook is done, I can rerun the same Chef Inspect profile I ran before. This time, the results are much different. All five of my tests passed, indicated by the green. The site is running the proper version of Apache, listening on port 443, returning the correct website content, and has TLS enabled. To close the loop, I'll log back into the Ubuntu node and rerun the commands I used to check for the Chef client. As you can see, it's still not installed. Chef Inspect scanning doesn't require the Chef client or any Chef configuration at all. The final verification is the website itself. When I point my browser to the Ubuntu system and click through the warnings caused by the self-signed certs, I can see my Hello World website is indeed up and running. This demonstration showed the command line version of Chef Inspect, but you can also perform compliance and security scans using Chef Automate, the Chef Management Dashboard. Either way, you can use Chef Inspect profiles like my example, publicly available DevSec baseline profiles, or hundreds of premium Chef CIS and STIG based profiles on hundreds or thousands of nodes. No Chef client or Chef configuration necessary. Learn more about Chef Inspect and get started at chef.io slash inspect.